Would anyone like to go on a hike? <coughs> yes? Are you ready? All right, then. Let's go. Y'all ready to go? Let's go. You all ready to go? Who's getting where? All right, we are running. Branches, branch. This is the straight leg we didn't take the other day, and we went right. And so far, nobody's been down with us today, has been down this far, this way, so we want to check it out. Definitely flatter, a lot more sandy branch, sandy soil. Oh, there's another offshoot right there, maybe. Okay, I wonder how deep this is. be a little deep. Let's check. He's coming. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I've buried it. The water in the floorboards in the front where I'm sitting is already over my ankles. Water, as you can see, is flowing into all the floorboards. We're not above the air intake yet, thank goodness. And uh, as you probably heard, I think the belt's a little wet. Um, but I keep trying to rock it back and forth and we are sunk. Uh, I don't know what, how deep it is everywhere else, but as I step out of the buggy, I realize that the water is probably, I don't know, uh, 18 inches deep on top of about 24 inches of mud and goo. It's like walking through liquefied jello or talcum powder or something like that. I mean, you step out in it and you just sink. Uh, you'll see here in a little bit, I'm starting to pull everything electronic out of my pockets because I have my car, uh, the fob for my truck, I've got the, uh, my phone, uh, everything in my pockets. Uh, that later on also I figure out that I've actually, the remote mic that I have hooked on my waistband, as you'll see when I bend over and try to get into the, hook up the toe strap, it's in the water. I didn't know that. Uh, the, <laughs> on the video the sound cuts Alrighty. out because the, the, the transmit, or transmitter for the mic is underwater. It does seem to work later on that day, uh, but as it came out, by the time I got home, I buried it in rice for, I don't know, half a day, full day. 
put it on the charger. It appeared to be charging. It's toast. So I got to get, get a new one. Uh, it's it just it, it really was a trooper. It kept trying to work, but it just doesn't. Uh, it didn't make it. So uh, your winch working? One part of it is destroyed. Dogs did very well at this point. Work? They stayed in the buggy like I asked them to. All right. And I'm just Let's walking to hook through up and all pull sorts me of muck and goo and uh, you know, yeah, right there I sank down. That's one of those soft spots where it was about Let's above my ankles and also I sunk down to my knee. So it was an interesting day. My hiking boots are trashed. Uh, they're outside on the deck drying right now. Hopefully they will you know, be somewhat salvageable. I imagine as they dry and I put them on and walk, it's going to be like pig pen. There's going to be dust clouds as all of it's breaking out of the boot. I was buried. Luckily, my socks did come clean. Uh, but it was just, I've never been anything that soft before. So this was, uh, this was an experience. Uh, we've done, this is, uh, as you can see right there, trying to get the the winch rope from oh, you're uh, my father-in-law's buggy that must out be the end hook onto mine to help pull it's me coming out. Back and in. It had, apparently had a kink in it, and it just stopped short. Uh, so I couldn't reach the buggy. Um, that's probably the end buggy. of it. All right, just a second. So, uh, and, of course, he is sitting at the edge of this swamp I'm in, and just about six or eight feet behind him is the one we drove through. So he doesn't have a lot of room to back, back up maybe. either. So yeah, we're kind of sitting here. with two between, and I don't know what else is down this road. Uh, this was enough for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you get up we here? We just wanted to get out of there and uh, get on. So uh, the straight leg is not the way yeah, to go you unless you end. have a boat or a submarine because you're going to have to get through this stuff and whatever yeah, well, else is further strap. down I got to get it out from under the seat. Uh, it may be they an may interesting trail. I have no idea. But unless you have like a, I don't know, a 12-foot uh, clearance under your, <laughs> under your buggy. I don't know how deep and those it is paddle over there. wheel type uh, This is soft. Tires, really, really you're soft. You're not getting through here. Yeah. It is just, uh, I've never been yeah, anything that soft. So I'm just working around trying to get the toe strap out now and, and get it back on his winch when working with a little bit of space we have to try to get me out of this ah! hole. Fortunately, I was not sunken on the left side to where I was drowning the air intake or the muffler. The buggy's still running and that's, that's what saved us. But right now we're trying to hook up the toe strap and get us out of there without him backing up and sinking in the other hole. And we did get out all of this, but this is that, like I said, that straight trail that uh, we didn't take on the first episode with Moose and Mindy. Um, it's a good idea not to go down this way. Like I said, I, I don't know how long it would have to be dry before those holes dry up because we've had, I don't know. It's a little bit. A week or two of really dry weather, and now we're back up into the 90s, and it's still a bog. So... Uh, I think it was just sheer luck we got through the first one. This one, there's no way we were getting through. Um, what's beyond it? No idea. Maybe if we get several weeks of dry weather, might get curious and poke our nose down this trail again and see what happens. Uh, probably been better to maybe, I don't know, bring a bulldozer and go through the woods because we're not getting past these puddles, not with the buggies we have. Anyway, it was quite the adventure. Uh, really decided this is not the way to go in the future. Uh, and we've, I think, sated our curiosity because we, we're not heading that way again.
I had this I had this transmitter for the remote mic on my belt. It's now ruined. Oh, it's still it's still on. It's still on. I thought I'd ruined it. Water inside of it. See if it still works. Yeah, let's not go that way. Let's. No, let's go the other way. I'll show you the other trail. <laughs> that was. All right, guys. Come on, Moose. In. We're going to go. Get in here. It probably got broke off and they just shortened it. As they in, Moose. Off. In. Yeah. In, buddy. Come on, Spinner. Get in. Moose, up. move over. This was not the way to go. <laughs> Jeez. Another good reason to have people with you. I would have not been able to get out of there by myself. I don't think my winch rope was long enough to reach the trees in front of me. And even if they were, I'd have to go back through that. So another, ooh, I got the controller in the water too. Controller for the dogs. My wallet's wet. Oh, it's it's working. All right. If the microphone's still working, that was not the way to go. We're going back up this trip, the one to the right again that we were on a few days ago. Try to stay dry. Oh, so much for my hiking boots. Anything below my crotch, it's all wet. That was some gushy mud. Holy moly. Gushy, gushy. That's a little drier. Yeah. <laughs> That's the trail I was talking about. Uh, right there. I hadn't been there. I turned around right here. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. We, we did go out later yeah, on and get in some really in tight trails in another area of the forest. Uh, got all the way up here, on a trail that was probably cut by somebody on quads. So we were, again, slapping branches all the way up and got to a point on top of the mountain where we really had a hard time turning around. Uh, Probably shouldn't have been up there, but the it was an in. experience. Uh, so anyway, uh, I should have turned on my camera for that, but another time we'll go through and hit the trails like that because there's a gabillion of them out here. Well, I had my video so anyway, and thanks and for watching. Uh, we had a lot of more adventures that day and will in the future with Moose and Mindy, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you. That's one of those times when you're glad you came with somebody. <laughs>